Welcome to CES. Um, Ad Week is here with Ben Winkler from OMD, who's going to show us around Eureka Park, which is one of the areas of CES where a lot of startups come to show off some of the coolest and wackiest gadgets they're working on. Um, ben, why do you like coming here so much? Oh, I love coming to Eureka Park because it's the purest distillation of what we as agencies and advertisers should be doing anyway, which is finding a consumer need, a pain point, and then inventing something, anything, to help satisfy it. And sometimes it can come out pretty weird, but you know what? Just the exercise is a breath of fresh air. Let's go see some of the weird stuff. So I think we can safely say this is probably the most unusual uh, thing that we're going to do on this tour. Um, we're at a company called Hushme. Explain to me what it is and how it works. Hushmi has identified a very real problem, certainly in offices. If you work at an ad agency, you're almost certainly in an open plan office. And privacy on phone calls is something that you've essentially given up on at this point. Enter the Hushmi, kind of an extreme solution to it. It's a regular Bluetooth headset, except when you're ready to talk, you put it over your mouth. Can't hear a thing. No. It works. So we're here at another startup called Naki. Um, tell us a little bit about it and why you like it so much. Well, it's rare at CES that you find a whole new user interface, but Naki is creating one out of surfaces. So with a Naki, you put it on or below a surface, and then you program a series of taps to do whatever you want it to do. So order a pizza, or unlock a door, or find your iPhone, for example. So should we give it a try? Yeah, we're going to give it, we're going to try to find the, an iPhone. Okay. So where is my iPhone? Come on, Naki. Boom, and there it is. So there's a lot of connected devices here at CES. Tell us about what we're looking at now in these interesting shoes. Totally, well, you remember those commercials that fall in and I can't get up? Well, that's now built into these shoes. These shoes are a prime example of a trend we're seeing at CES this year that we're calling fear tech. So it's products that work off of fear by, instead of helping, just helping you, actually potentially rescuing you. There's an accelerometer right inside. If you have a big fall, it lights up, it sends a text message to whomever you want, and your GPS coordinates. So if you've fallen down at home, or if you're hiking, it tells you where to go. So we're here with Buddy, um, the robot. Tell us about him and how, how he works and what marketers should know about him. Look, Buddy is essentially glorified Amazon Echo on wheels, but that's okay. The Amazon Echo is an awesome product. What the wheels do is it makes it mobile. That means that you can take that Echo and all the things you do with it, ordering products, asking for information, and it can happen in any room of your house without buying more Echo. Also, you notice the eyes here. Those are specifically designed so you make a personal connection with Buddy. And all this head tilting, that's there for a reason. Scientifically proven to connect people to robots, or really to animals, children, you name it. But he's made to be cute. So we're at iPoly, uh, which is a startup here at CES. Ben, can you tell us a little bit about why this one stood out to you and what marketers should know about um, this, this startup? iPoly is a tech solution that takes any regular store and turns it into essentially an Amazon Go store. You walk in, it identifies you and what you're picking up, grab your product, and you walk out. No muss, no fuss. You pay for it, you're done, you're enjoying your Snickers bar in seconds. What's so exciting for, for marketers is that we already know online when someone looks at a product but then doesn't buy it, but you never know when that happens offline. With this technology, if someone picks up that Snickers bar and then puts it back on the shelf, we know it. We can use that information to retarget them later online. So thanks so much, um, Ben, for doing this with us. We had a lot of fun looking at some of the weirdest and most interesting things out there uh, that marketers should know about in 2018. So thanks so much for joining us. It was my pleasure, Lauren.